So let's say that you have a chart or a graph and you need to pull the data off of it. Well, that might be a problem if you only have a image file of that graph and you don't actually have any tangible data. Let's say that maybe you got a scanned image in and you are needing a way to extract the data from a still picture. Let's also assume that perhaps this scanned image is a rather large graph or chart such as this. How do you get that data back off of this graph? Well, you can do that with a program called Log Evolve. It is a graph digitizer that will take still images of charts or graphs and digitize them. So I want to go ahead and I'm going to show you how to do that with a rather large image file. So I'm going to go to File, Open, and I'm going to start with an image file. And as you can see, you have multiple options for opening images. I'm going to go down to All Images, and I'm just going to select one of these. I will select that one right there. As you can see, this is a rather large graph. So I'm going to go ahead and start setting up the data so we can go ahead and graph this image. I'm going to go over to Options and Chart Options, and I'm going to adjust these first. The reversed y-axis, which means it starts at zero at the top and goes down and increases in value as it goes down on the y-axis, is true. So I'm going to have that checked to true. Reverse x-axis, which means the zero is on the right and it increases data going to the left, is false. So I'm going to leave that unchecked. And this is a vertical uh, log, so I'm going to leave that as vertical points. I'm also going to go over here and I'm probably going to select from this point to this point down here. So the minimum x value for that is 0. The maximum x value will be 100. The minimum y value will be 0. And the minimum y, the maximum y value will be 100 as well. The y data information, the name for that, is going to be depth. So I'm going to leave that alone. And the x value, I'm going to change that name to x value. And I'm going to go ahead and line up log. As you can see, we have a graph that populated right here. And we're going to go ahead and line this up with the graph that's behind it. So we just stretch these bars over. When you release it, we see that it is lined up. And I'm going to go ahead and line up the bottom as well. So there we have the graph lined up. Now, how we start adding data is we go ahead and we click the pen tool. With the pen tool selected, you can either click to add data points, like so, or you can hold down the left click on the mouse and just trace over the image. This, I feel, is a lot easier to do because you don't have to constantly be clicking. And also, it is very helpful if you have a tablet hooked up to the computer. That way, all you have to do is just trace right over the graph, and everything adds in perfectly. So, let's say that you have this added in, and you want to continue down the graph and add the rest of the data in. What you would normally do with most digitizers is you would stop right here, you would digitize this, copy it to a format, and then continue digitizing on another file. So you would actually have multiple digitized files, and whenever you got done digitizing this well, you would simply take all of that data and copy and paste it together into one large log. Log Evolve, however, is different. You can go to Options and Chart Sync, and what that will do is it will automatically advance the y and x values as you move the graph around and it will also recognize where those values should be so your items or your data will be automatically linked so I'm going to go ahead and hit yes to that and it basically says the same thing that I just told you and I'm going to select the pointer so we can move this. And as you notice, whenever we click and move this, I'm just going to move it to the side to show you, it will automatically line up the data points with the graph where it was before. So, since that is automatically lined up, we can just 
Click on the pen tool again and we can start adding data points once again. I'm going to do that again so you can see it. I'll just click right back over here, move it down. And as you can see, it lines the data right back up to where it needs to be. Let's also assume that you need to add tops into this, which a top for a type log, for example, which is what this is, a top will specify different breaks inside the graph or different data point analysis. So I'm going to click right here to the Add Top button and I'm going to change this name to uh, that name right there because that's where that section starts. So I'm going to change that and I'm just going to click to add that top at that location. And as you can see we added a top Actually, I don't think you could see that very well because we added a top with the color of white. So I'm going to change that to black. And I'll just change the top color editor. And I'll select that data point. And what it'll do is it'll change that top to black. And if we select back up here, we can move the chart again. And you can see... that the top and all the data points match up where they're supposed to. So we can keep adding data points as we continue down the graph. Now let's say that we have this graph completed and we want to export this. What we can do with that is we can go to File and Save As and you can export it as many different options. You can export it as a project file which is actually a zip document that has all of your data an Excel document which will save the pictures and the images as well as your data points and it will also save more data about yourself which I'll get into that in a second or you can export it as a CSV which is basically a database table so I'm going to export it as an Excel document and this is what I was talking about with the extra data you can see that we have extra fields that we can type information in I already have a few of these fields specified, so I'm going to go to Edit Field Options, and it comes up with this window right here, and I'm going to go down to Professional Well Information. And as you can see, it changed some data right here, and it also has some of the data that I have pre-specified in there as well. So I'm going to go ahead and go to Export to Excel. I'm going to save this as a Test Excel, and you can see I already did that once, so I'm just going to name this number 2 and hit save. Close out of these and as you can see we have all of our data which has been digitized. We have a small preview of the well where we last did our data points. We also have our top name, our top depth, and we also have the full well log right here. If we go to Sheet 2, you can also see that we have all the information that we specified previously as well. Now, LogEvolve can work with many different graphs, such as bar graphs, column graphs. It can also work with align graphs if you want to do a line graph horizontally. And it can work with scatter points as well. All you would need to do is just change the data type that you have. So we can change that to bubble. And as you can see, it changes it to a bubble or a spline, which will automatically curve it. And we have multiple different options for graph digitalization. So, if you need a graph digitized, you can go to our website. You can download a free version of LogEvolve, which is a trial version. Our website is greattechnical.com. From there, go to Software and LogEvolve, and you will be able to download your free trial version. Thank you for watching.